instant word, if ye continue. If ye continue. Now, crusade is not for play. Crusade is not like gambling. Crusade is not like, okay, I'm there now, and I collected some things, like we're collecting toys, and now, tomorrow, I can live the way I want. I can go back to chew my tobacco. I can go back to my marijuana. I can go back to my alcohol. I can go back to womanizing. I can go back to fornication. I can go back to uh, adultery. I can go back to the works of the flesh because crusade is over now. You see, the way the blessing will continue and the way the salvation will continue if ye continue in the faith. I will continue. Shout it out. In all the other locations, I will continue. If you continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereby I, Paul, whereof I, Paul, a mage, a minister. In Hebrews chapter 12, reading from verse 1. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, it says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a crowd of witnesses. What does that mean? It says, you are not the first to come, to enjoy, to receive, to obtain the blessing of God. Other people in chapter 11 of this Hebrews, they came like Enoch. He had it and he continued in it. Like Abel, like Noah, like Abraham. Abraham got it and he became a friend of God. Not a friend for one day. A friend for one week, not a friend for just a short period of time, a friend of God from the time he knew God until he breathed his last. And now he is with God in heaven. It says, We're compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. It says, Now let us lay aside every witch and the sin we do so easily beset us in the past you were weak and the reason is you were going near the brink every time it's like um, you know two people were interviewed and uh, they wanted to be a driver to uh, this man and so the man asked them, asked the first one, and he said, You are a licensed driver, aren't you? He said, Yes. A good driver, aren't you? He said, Yes. He said, If you are going driving on the road and you see a ditch on this side, and then there's no ditch over here, how will you drive? Oh, he said, I'm so good. I can get near as near as possible to the ditch and nothing will happen. I say, okay, that's all right. Then the second person, he said, you are a driver, aren't you? Yes, I am. License, aren't you? I am. Experience, aren't you? Yes, I am. If you see a ditch very near, how will you drive? He said, I will keep away from that ditch as far as possible. As I'm driving, the man said, this one will be my driver. The one who will keep far away from the ditch as far as possible. But the one who said, he's so clever, he can be as near as possible, and it doesn't matter. He said, I will allow this man to drive me. But that's what the Lord is saying. When you see the temptation is there, you see the ditch is there, and the things you used to do, the places you used to go, the nightclub you used to visit, and when they're inviting you again, and the places of the actions of the flesh, when they call you, say no, you'll not say, well, I am saved. I am sure and I can drive as near as possible to the ditch. That's dangerous for you 
be wise and then it says wherefore because we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin we do so easily beset us and let us let us run with patience the race that is set before us i pray the grace of god will keep you the love of god will keep you the power will uphold you all the days of your life in jesus name look at verse 2 there verse 2 says looking unto jesus the author and the finisher of our faith he gave us the salvation he gave us the healing he gave us the deliverance and he says every time if temptation comes looking unto jesus if trial comes looking unto jesus if the old life tries to sneak in again looking unto jesus the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross you see that the joy he was looking at the joy of our redemption and the joy of our reconciliation and because that joy was set before him he endured the cross despising the shame and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of god you'll be there i will be there